Hello and welcome everybody back to the Dumbass Class with me, the Dyslexic Gamer, as we carry on our playthrough of Encased. Now, thank you all so much for your comments, uh, your likes, subscribes, your watches, your views, all of that goodness. It makes me, it makes me so warm and fuzzy down, deep down inside. Um, <laughs> so, apart from that, I have learned a couple of things. First things first, um, so... This noisy bugger over here is actually controlled by the main sound settings. If any of you are having problems with the sounds, um, this is the ridiculous of it. The master volume controls the sound of the generator. None of these four do. So if you want the generators to be quiet, you have to put your master volume down really low and then you lose sound to everything else. I don't like this. I, I I really hope it's just a, a a little early access thing, you know, it's not going to last. But anyway, we are back with Hannes and my little bitching spree is over because I'm done with that. As long as I stay away from it. Um as far as I can remember last time, we had spoken to We'd spoken to her. I'm going to talk to her again just to make sure. Uh, she's working behind a bench. Andrea, who works behind the bench? Oh, who works behind the bench turns to you. First, <laughs> you are in your outdoor shoes in my workshop again. And second, if you buy anything, I won't scold you, all right? Eh. What have you got to trade? She opens up her drawers. Really? Wow. I didn't expect to be able to buy something like that. Oh, oh can, let, can close your drawers, show me your feet. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, we've... God damn it, Hannes. Uh, yeah, we've already gone through all of this, uh, I believe. We're actually overweight by quite a lot. Ah. Uh, yeah, but game, this is what happens when you don't give me a storage space. Ooh. Have we spoken to her about everything? Anything interesting? She points somewhere through the wall. A swamp, and what did you expect? The sites are what this place is. But truth be told, this swamp is actually interesting. I think there is something out there, alive. Uh, she lowers her voice for some reason. Yeah, I, I, I seem to remember we've already asked who controls this area. Um, so yeah, I, sadly, I think we just have to move on from here. Yes. Now, this is a little bit worrying, I'm not going to lie, because I, I don't know where we can go. And I guess we go to unknown. Quick save, as always. And I guess we'll go to unknown. <laughs> it's moved. I mean, so's the Baron. To be, to be completely fair. Walking through the desert, you notice some moving not far away. From here, it's difficult to see what's there. Only rising clouds of dust are visible. Now we'll come up on it. We shall have a look. We shall have a peek. Mm -mm. Oh dear. So... Hopefully you guys can hear the music. It looks like you can. And hopefully you're not hearing the popping that I'm hearing constantly um, from my new headset. That's not really working that well. Don't buy cheap. Don't buy cheap. 
<gasps> Hannes, you are still so very, very wounded. You're still so very, very wounded, Hannes. Come to here. And then use one of your lovely medical kits. Okay, so what are these guys doing? How are they dressed as well? Uh, I would definitely say these look like your typical fallout uh, raiders. Although they are called Rop Grunt. Boat Grunt. FOP. Oh. We are the fox who kneel for us. I thought she was saying that then. I was like, why are you telling me I'm not in a firing line? Come to here. Oh, I wish you'd stop popping headset. I'm going to have to check after this to see if it's always popping. It's worth the risk. Ooh, Psych Confusion has taken effect. Very nice. Very nice. Go on. Smack it to him. Smack it to him. You didn't... You didn't smack it to him. 68. Come on. Ooh. Psy status has been... Has been... Taken effect. Uh, fire upon her. Oh no! I probably should have saved that point, but never mind. Come on. Yeah! Beat him! Beat him! Yes! Turn against each other! Fight your comrades and your friends! Yes! Huh. Feel the power of my mind, woman! Yes! Huh. Yes! Oh no! We're going to have to take a hit. Ooh. Ow. I'm actually so glad I got him to fight him. Because this could have been really bad. Uh, you wound me, girl. Be gone. Uh, uh, be gone. There we go. And you. Be gone. Oh no. Right, we should go with normal attacks and hope. Ooh, we did 22. Glorious. Um, Not so glorious. Hover? Ow. Ow. Ah. We have four HP left. Oh, oh the pain. Uh, how dare you. Fortunately, our psychic powers were enough to win the day. An onion. Ooh, we take all that. Yes, please. Um, we will take all of that as well. Now, I don't know if this stuff is going to help with our food. No, sorry, our food, our health. But I feel the need to um, get some buffs. And hopefully one of them will be a health buff. Uh, that's not... Oh, okay, well, we're still a little bit thirsty, but I suppose we can't really help that. Have we got a healing? Uh, no. No, we just got more guts. Now, I believe you can rest, but at the same time, I think resting's not exactly the best idea. Resting in the middle of nowhere doesn't really seem like it's going to be a good idea for our long-term survival. 
Yeah, we're doing alright. And quick save again. Just in case. Just in case. And then we'll head over to this place. The unknown. Um sub born slums ooh an abomination in no an abandoned industry packed in t what I An abandoned industry park is teeming with rat holes, junk town, settlement, a settlement which emerges at an undeveloped industrial site. It is no exception. Abandoned industrial site, I'm sorry, an undeveloped industrial site is no exception. Not even the locals know every way in and out. Use these paths with caution. A person could get shivved on get shivved on the sheriff's front porch in this place. The noise in the noise in your head that you've been hearing since the moment you left Nashville, which had almost faded to nothing, returns in force. You fall to your knees. The noise, why? No! Emulator? City? A natural voice repeats inside your head, a neutral voice. Emulator, city. White light forms the outline of a settlement before your eyes. Shelter before your eyes. Rough concrete and metal clad walls emerge from the fading light. This isn't a mirage. The shelter is real. Tangible. Uh, is this the emulator about which the voice is insistently speaking? Speak. Ooh. Okay. No, 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 no. This is this. This needs a proper save. This, this, this needs a proper save. I have never seen this area before. This is all, all new. We need to investigate this somewhat. Okay, apparently he's always got minus one charm because he likes to eat onions. <gasps> Onion boy, we found you. What are you doing here? Ugh, you filthy, filthy thing. Oh no, he might try and claim my content. It's okay, I didn't name him in, I didn't name him in person. Not that I really want to. It's probably like Voldemort gives him power. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's some cool th things around here. There's not much for us to click onto at the moment. At the very, is that a shuttle? No. Well, it was part of a spaceship. Never mind then. Never mind. And there wasn't anything around here, was there? No, oh, maybe there's a secret. But we shall look in a minute for the squeakrets. Hello. Come in. The city is already in quarantine, but there are still spa spare places in the suburb subs. This soldier's face is wrapped in a neckchief. Egger chief? 
uh, to protect it from the sands. His eyes are covered with uh, sunglasses. His entire uniform is covered in desert dust. The letters on the metal badge are hardly distinguishable. Roy, uh, Roy Oldie? Roy Old Eye Guard and Barter. Oh. He holds uh, he holds your shoulders slightly. Cause any problems and I will personally expel you. Agreed. <laughs> Orange. Reason uh Resent, uh, resent. You, in fact, are an employee of the Orange Wing. This is discrimination. I am a proud employee of the glorious Orange Wing. This is discrimination. Show me to your boss. Where is your leader? Without letting go of your shoulder. Do... One moment. Sorry, I needed to cough. There, Hannes's voice had. Uh, had brought forth something. <clears throat> and another little clearing of the throat. Um, without letting go of your shoulder, the soldier begins to search you with his free hand. Employee? Such employee raised a rebellion. And don't you complain to me about discrimination here? Uh, I I'm sorry. Uprising? The guard shakes his head uh, disapprovingly. Are you kidding me? After the incident, they f they formed a search party out of the orange to send them to the artifact site. And well, the unrest began. It's understandable, frankly, but the things they've done here. He pats you lightly on the back. Go on, but remember, no drugs, no thieving, no fighting. Uh, right, right, um, of course, yes, yes. Oh, no. I, uh, peeping seemed to be fine. Ah, excellent, excellent. Uh, uh, who are you? Some exhausted and... Some... A... Exhausted and dirty woman in a white wing uniform rushes towards you. She clutches your hands in a deft grip. Oh my god, don't touch my penis like that. Get off, woman. You, yeah. uh, you are my last hope, please. Please, please, please. The woman looks into your eyes with an imploring gaze. Jesus, uh, Cataresia, Cataresia, Bellis, Eerie, Cat, you are, you are, I name you Cat, uh, it is a glorious name, all glory to the beautiful woman named Cat and her gnarled feet. <laughs> um so uh cat comes over to uh relic res relic registration department written on her worn out badge ask what she wants say nothing and wait <laughs> push her away and proceed no we won't say anything the white thinks you're s the white thinks you're silent because you're ready to listen to her. She gives you such a hug that for a second you uh, forget how to breathe. I am uh, touching. No, no touching. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think you're... <laughs> Lady, you just don't know. Um, Thank you. I think you're a good person. And if you won't help me... Nobody will, and I'll die. I'll just die. But die here amongst these. Cat pulls herself together. Uh, 
I'm banished from the city. From Mega Gallon, you see. They took my select throne. They stripped me of my citizenship. No one wants to help me. Everyone is afraid to end up like me. All of that is because this damned... Uh, that's not our second name, is it? No. Uh, Nakaroma? And her laws. She raises her eyes. Uh, she raises her eyes and looks upon you with hope. But you will help me for sure, won't you? I, I want to get to Mega Gallon, and you can lead me there. You have a select throne? I, I see it. It's hanging on your belt. Sorry, you need to cough a lot today. Uh, I can see it hanging on your belt. Return to her request and carefully. No. And clarify her plan and what she wants. From you. White taps her finger on the select throne hanging on your belt. Please, guide me to Mega Gallon. I just need to get to the station. Tell her you don't mind to help her for free. Answer her you'll do it, but not for free. Answer her you need some time to consider the request. Tell her you don't want to be stripped of your citizenship for helping her. Um, well, I, I have not seen a pretty face in a while. I have gone through some things. You must know this place, and a voice from above told me that I may want to search you. Hmm, yes. May want to search you, it may not. Uh, sure, come along with me. We will help you. The white jumps at you. The white jumps at you again and locks her arms, uh, and locks you in her arms. My goodness, thank you. I'll tell you, I'll tell everyone on Mega Gallon what a beautiful person you are. Repres uh, reputation. Rumor spread quickly under the dome. Sooner or later, everyone will know about your actions, good or bad. Oh, okay. <gasps> da 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 She looks back at the city behind the walls. So, do we have a deal? Come on, I cannot wait to return to Mega Gallon. We have a person, she's only level two. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> right, quick save. Is this the person they were on about? Defibrillator. It raises people from the dead. Give me. Oh, right. I can only do. Yeah, I'm just going to take one. Wait, did I get that? Did you give me? Um, I, hmm. Yes, there we go. We have a defibrillator. Cool. Okay, that might be important. So, does she say anything? She looks at... Uh, look at her... Communicator anxiously from time to time. I don't rush you, honestly. I... I don't rush you, honestly... I do, but could we just go to Mega Gallon already? You can't even imagine how I miss the hot showers. Eh, no fair. I can understand this, sir, uh, but we must uh, search this place. I must learn of its secrets. And I must trade. I have to... <gasps> I see glory. And we, we can't... 
We can't even... No! This is not for us, sadly. Um, let's have a talk to the, the Blue Wing. A dirty man dressed in soiled Blue Wing uniform sits on a rickety chair and nibbles onions. Squinting at you, squinting at the uh, scorching sun. On his chest is a dirty badge saying, James Hotkit? Uh, potato? Earth cookie. Potocky? Electrician. Ask if he really doesn't have anything better than the onion. The blue tears off a piece with his teeth with a loud crunch. The onion smell is everywhere. You fool. I am not a, a wealthy person, and even an onion is bliss for me, God willing. You'll starve. Uh, you'll survive the Melstorm? Metastorm? Melstorm? And we will survive. Uh. Nakaroa 2. Qu uh, quarantined? Yeah, 2. Quarantined. Only citizens allowed. Uh, what bullshit. He says under his, uh, under his breath. Which smells of onions. Surprisingly. Oh. Our way is blocked. We cannot pick a pocket him. Uh, is this counted as stealing? I don't think so. Oh, sadness. Oh, sadness. I was hoping I'd find like a shotgun. <laughs> We've actually already had a shotgun, I think. Ooh. He's someone new, obviously. Huh. Another woman with a covered up face. A large woman with greyish skin examines you head to toe like an electric scanner. Metastorm loves you. Metastorm loves everyone. Oh. Well, let's... You have nothing. Sad. What about you? What about you? What do you have? This man looks like a nerd who's unexpectedly come to believe in a... Uh... Super Force? He's wearing, um, he's wearing super high-tech, uh, tel teleglasses decorated with stickers of comic book heroes. His, his movements are erratic and his speech fast and not exactly clear. Seeing you... He raises his hands to the heavens and yells, Thank you! Oh, God! He waves, uh... Oh, he waves you off. It sure was because you did nothing. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't talking to you. I was addressing... He points his finger... Heavenwards? Understand? That's it. What to, <laughs> want to have a look at uh, the goods? Just don't try to steal anything or your arms will wither. He is actually a merchant. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so we've got some wrenches, some monkey wrenches. These might be tools. I'm not entirely sure if you can use them for other things. Um, Equipment repair kit. Oh, that's pretty handy. Uh, only five point five kg tool for hacking. That would be good. 
Not that we have the uh, excess weight to be able to carry such a thing. I haven't seen that stuff before. The poly metallic ore. An alarm disposal kit. It doesn't weigh anything? Yes, please. Hang on. Uh, you know how to use it correctly. Okay. I think we've already got the floppy disks, so that's fine. Oh. Is that all you have? God damn it. Why can't you people have more? We need more. Hannes wants lots of goodies. Yet you, you provide him with none. Uh, one, seven, zero. Accept. And then we will... I'll probably keep one of the weapon components. Just in case it can be used for something else later on. Um, well, that didn't really empty out our equipment... But I suppose, you know, we've got a decent amount of uh, credits now. But yeah, we've got over a thousand. So not, not too bad. We're still massively overweight and I can't really get rid of anything else. <laughs> oh well. Never mind. Uh, what is the time? Okay, well, 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 well. I'm afraid it is that time already. I know time flies when you're uh, when you're playing this game. So sadly, sadly, we will have to end it off there. But in the next episode, of course, we will be exploring this place even more. And then we have a quest to go to Mega Gallon. So we have things to do. The series is not dead. We also have a level up to do, which we will do in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. You are all just way too good to me. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to future episodes to come. So thank you so much, everyone. Take care, and as always, bye-bye for now.